what is going on everyone rassenvolt here and we're back with some more pokemon legends arceus so we can finally get our fourth star ranking let's talk to silene here also we got the the pokedex entry for typhlosion so let me just read that out like it's really interesting set to purify lost forsaken souls with its flames and guides them to the afterlife. I believe it is, its form has been influenced by the energy of the sacred mountain towering at Hesui Center. So interesting, the starters and like every other Pokemon evolved differently because of the energy in Mount Coronet. I just find that really interesting. But without further ado, let's get that rank up bonus. Da -da 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 -da. We are rank four. With this, you have officially attained the rank of 4th star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Leaden Balls. You get some recipes too. Recipe for crafting Leaden Balls. Let's see what those balls do anyway. Hyper Potion. Okay. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands. But you will need help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. Okay, we gotta go to the training grounds. So, while we're here, I want to say a question of the day. What is your favorite starter in Pokemon Legends Arceus? I'm picking Cyndaquil. Like, you know, um, Typhlosion's uh, design has grown on me, kind of. Also, I forgot. I gotta show you guys the new team. So we have Typhlosion. I replaced Hunter. I cut an, I managed to catch an Alpha Basculin. Can't use him yet because he's level 15, 57. He won't obey me. But still, I also managed to evolve Curlia into Gallade. Just check this out. Look how big this Basculin is. Do you see this? Do you see how big this thing is? But anyway, let's get to the training grounds and let's put Typhlosion back in front and see what we have to do. Oh, look, it's Irida and Ingo. Oops, I threw, I threw my Typhlosion. So what's the deal with Ingo? Hello, Hikari. Oh my god, he looks so... So traumatized. Hello, Hikari. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Sneasler. He will guide you to her domain. What is wrong with Ingo? Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. I am I am the warden Ingo. Oh my God! Look at the bags under his eyes. He is, he seems broken. I understand you'll need a hand from Sleezler to in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find that by making the journey. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard. Ingo's a bit like you, you know. Like me. He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help fill in some of the gaps in his memory. Poor Ingo. In any case, I'm glad to have your help to count on once again, Hikari. Good luck in the Highlands. I feel so bad for Ingo. And Emmett too. Man, guy must be worried back in the future. But man, Ingo seems broken. Poor guy doesn't even have any trains to, to enjoy. Dude loved trains back in the day. Well, let's go see how the Coronet Highlands look like. Let's see. It's raining there. Yikes. We're close to the rift right now. We can even see. Is that a shrine up there? Hmm. Is that the Arceus Shrine? That's like, uh, Origin? Uh, Spear Pillar. Yeah, yeah, I think that's Spear Pillar. There you are, my girl. Welcome to Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokemon wandering about these craggy, boulder-strewn heights. So, basically... <laughs> basically, my Fire-type starter is useless, basically. And up there... Right beneath the, that great rift in time space is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Is that a statue of Probopass? 
It is. It's a statue of a Pokemon, but who could have made it and how long ago? Okay, let's see what we can find. This area looks kind of cool, to be honest. Look, there's Ingo. And his hat seen better days. The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I will recall, but its electrical discharges at least are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. Then becoming frenzy to boot. So true, it's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan, and oh my, the Galaxy Team grew up from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the Great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But, by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you ever face awaits you right here. Battle me, if you dare. Absolutely not. Just deny them. Hmm. Well then, let me tell you the great Melly's take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I need to spell out that's, that that's a good thing? You must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as it, as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I'm here on this earth. Man, they are full of themselves. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway? If I literally let's loose a few sparks out here in the mountains. Really? You should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours, rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. Really full of themselves. What a selfish, selfish outlook. These frenzies caused the Pokemon themselves such suffering. What is it we want to do, Hakari? Press on. Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasley, Hakari, you must pass through here. Wayward Cave. Here, you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Okay, time to enter a cave. Hope it's not too dark. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly's attempt to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness or foul weather will delay us. Onward we will roll. Take care not to come uncoupled for me. <laughs> All the train jokes. Oh, we can't run. This is gonna be a while. I recall faintly that I had a partner once. A precious one. Emmett? Is he talking about Emmett? Its name ex escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. Oh, he's talking about his partner Pokemon. If only it was here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us forward. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an Alpha Crobat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. But, to poor, but given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Take care not to come uncoupled for me. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. Yeah, he's talking about Emmett. The words. I like winning more than anything else flashed through my mind just now. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. Man, poor guy. Arceus, why'd you have to do Emmett like that? Please don't fall behind, you must keep schedule. This is fine progress, we'll ne we're nearly home free. Wait, could those be? The torches. Let me put those torches back where they belong. The darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. Hey, we have some light. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. 
My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. And we can finally run! Yes! It's a Golbat! Let's try catching him. Ah, too late. Let's just dip. And we are out! Out of that dark cave. Professor Leventon told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Asui, a region whose name I'd never heard of. All I could remember was my own name. Okay, so from what I understand, while we fell from the space-time rift, it could be that Ingo actually came here from a wormhole. That could also be why. He's in worse shape than me, with like no memories and stuff. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural infinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But I still wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Gotta make it up the mountain. Look at all the gold ducks. Stantler. I actually caught a Stantler off screen. Maybe I'll try to evolve into Weirder later. Ah! We got hit. We got hit. Oh, but what is this place? What's the big idea? Putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away. Do you get some sort of amusement stopping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh. Rendering a cave impossible to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm. Well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you lot to put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electroid, you're so sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. Easy enough. I'll beat him. Yo, Skunk Tank, Sodi's lost the true meaning of silent but deadly. Okay, it's time to beat him. Beat a Skunk Tank. Go, Typhlosion. Let's use our new and improved flamethrower. Strong style flamethrower, that is. And we got the burn on. Ow. Oh yeah, I forgot Typhlosion's part dark type now, so he's kind of weakened to dark type moves. Ah, I totally forgot about that. Okay, let's send out Sylveon. Let's use Play Rough. Listen here. Neither I nor Skunk Tick admit the feat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. Man, what does it take for this dude to just give up? However, I will I will withdraw to afford Skunk Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. Ah, uh, what a lively character. You got that right. I can't fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now, let us press on. These ruins look interesting. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. 
Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor, labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the cases of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. Volo! What's it going on, my dude? Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that could, could have somewhat been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think that the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I don't remember my own home, nor my family if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Hikari, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you then, Hikari? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Maybe something. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. That makes sense. So is it Arceus that's doing this? Indeed. I did some digging and found records indicating that the same space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That is why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of word do you suppose stretches out on the other side of that rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then again, that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Hikari have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volvo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of, all no of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I am a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that test to Hikari. Until next time, then. Once we're through here, it'll be just a little further. Let's move. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Okay, onward. It's a bronze ore. I'm gonna catch a bronze ore. Is that a bronze hong? Okay, you know what? I'm just out of here. I'll do this later. Okay, let's see if we can find any Pokemon around here. Is that a Teddy Ursa? It is a Teddy Ursa! And an Ursaring! We caught the Teddy Ursa! Spawn? Is this an alpha or just a regular Ursa Ring? Okay, it isn't just a regular Ursa Ring. Level 39. Let's use Play Rough. One more Play Rough. No! A critical! I wanted to catch that thing! I wanted an Ursa Luna! Ah. <sighs> Okay, let's try just throwing the Great Ball at this one. Man, Ursaring are big. I really love how they scaled the Pokemon in the game. Unlike <clears throat> Sword and Shield's DLC where, you know, Warelord just appeared to be all messed up and small. Try play rough. It avoided it. Okay, let's try a great ball now. Let's try 
on Pokeball one more time. Yes! We cut ourselves an Ursa Ring. I don't know, maybe there's an Ursa Luna in our future. For now, let's go. Let's continue on. Some Luxray. There's Volo. Oh, wait, that's not Volo. What am I saying? This is the regular Ginkgo Guild member. <laughs> Yikes. There's Ingo. Let's see what he... What we have to do. We're shocked! Oh, we have to scale those cliffs! You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. This, so this would be Sneasler's evolution. Yeah, I saw it on, uh, in the leaks. Do I want that on my team, but who would I replace? See, it's just so at home on the cliff face, one might think she knew some secret. Some hidden move. Rock climb. What am I saying? Hidden moves? HMs? There are no such things in this series, certainly. Oh, he's talking about HMs, rock climb. Yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Just who was I before I came to Hisui? If you, from the, if you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle would, with you would jog this memory loose. Would you honor me with a battle, Hikari? Sure. Let's see if we can get Ingo to remember his past. Machoke. Okay. Oh, hey. Not gonna lie, Ingo looks really cool. Oh wait! I had Basculin up in front, he won't obey me. You could try. Yep, won't obey me. Come on, Basculin, please. Come on. Basculin's out, out of the race for that. So let's send out. Let's send out Star Raptor. And we will use Air Slash. Angelo. Ah, oh, we got stunned. We got paralyzed. Well, let's use Agile Style Air Slash. The Glide Score, yo! Star Raptor is not gonna do much against Gly Score, but we can just, you know, deal a bit of damage. Stop hurting my Pokemon, Gly Score. We'll send out Luxray. End it off with Ice Fang. Okay, Luxray, Ice Fang. We did it! We beat Ingo. What was what was his, his name? His full title? Battle Subway Boss? Some Ingo? Yeah, I think it was Battle Subway Boss. Bravo! Excellent. Cause I know you fight them in the Battle Subway in uh, Gen Five. Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory. Now, allow me to call Sneasler. I kind of wish the tunes were different. 
don't know about you guys. What about you guys? I, I kind of think each Pokemon had a different tune because if you're just like using the same tune for every Pokemon, it just kind of gets weird. Sneasler. Yo, she looks so cool. Allow me to introduce you, Akari. This King Club Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Heal. Hear. Oof. We got a plate. The toxic plate. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneasel's aid and quell the lord up in the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard! Okay then. Yo, this is cool. We can literally just be a Pokemon. Wait, wait. Look at that. Is that that's me? I'm literally in a box. Wow. I'm literally in a box. <laughs> that's crazy. This is so cool. Okay, time to climb up. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I'm loving this. I'm really loving this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just pose here for a second. Maybe I'll use this as the thumbnail. I don't know. We'll see. It's a Gligar. Eh. I wish I could throw the Pokemon, the, the Ultra Ball. I mean, the, the Great Ball. While while they were while they <laughs> while they uh, see me, because some of them you can, some of them you can't. I kind of hate that. Oh, it's snowing. We don't need Sneasler for right now, so let's. It's weirdier. Is that a gibble? Is that a gibble? I need that. I need that gibble. I need the gibble. I really do. I tried catching that alpha goodbye, but that would end up badly for us. Yo, we might just have to replace Star Raptor. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's anyone who liked Star Raptor, but I'm using this gibble. If I can just get it trained up a bit. Can I, can I even hope to catch that Gabite? Maybe we could try. Aw, oh, man. Okay, let's try. Let's try to catch it off guard. Let's see what it's level. Six. Okay, let's use Psycho Cup. Nope, we're out. I'll take the gibble. I'll take the gibble. I'll quit while I'm behind. I'll quit while I'm behind. Is that a Dialga statue? And we really, really, really got to heal our Pokemon. It's a Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo. Wudo. Yes, we got Pseudo Wudo. Level 41, man, some of these Pokemon. A mischievous. Yeah, I'm having so much fun right now. Just like seeing all my some of my favorite Pokemon. 
There it is. Man, I wish I had, could have more than six Pokemon on a team. I would love a Miss Magius. He caught Mischievous. Now let's see this Dialga statue. Look at that. It's Dialga. It's a statue of a Pokemon with an air of the divine. Ancient people must have worshipped it. The Diamond Clan. Look at that. Look at that. It's literally Dialga. Let's see if we can catch this nose pass. Yes, we caught nose pass. Might as well get this wisp. And yeah, we'll just keep climbing the mountain. Okay, it's just a Shinx. Man, I really gotta train that Gabite off screen, that Gibble off screen, because I really want a Garchomp. It's a Voltorb. A Hisuian Voltorb. We need this. Yes, we caught Hisui and Voltorb. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Polkia statue. I mean, we could have just probably missed it, to be honest. Uh, man, I really got to explore this place. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know I'm not exactly been supporting of, of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt. Hey, I'm not a grunt. I'm at least an admin. I'm at least an admin or a commander. But such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to the Electra seat, you and the little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, Skunk Tank. Give them another whiff of your silent deadliness. No, please. No, please. Stay away. Oh, God. Yo, Luxray. And a Zubat. I'm being triple teamed? You Thunderfang! And we're poisoned. Great. Maybe we should have healed them. Our other Pokemon. Oh, that's it. We don't have anything else. Oh, we're healed up now. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, let's try this again. Yada, yada, yada. I don't want to read that again. But let's go. A triple team. Bruh. They really out here doing us like that. Go, Typhlosion. Let's use Strong Style Flamethrower. And we got Bird. They got Bird. Oh, I forgot about Night Slash. I really did. Poor Typhlosion. Susceptible to Ghost Type, uh, to Dark Types now. Okay, let's send out Sylveon. Let's use Play Rough. Might have 
to do a bit of training for our team again. Man, they're really out here attacking me. What is it? My turn. Okay. Let's just use the standard play rough. Return self yawn. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's send out Star Raptor. And let's use Air Slash. We did it. We beat him. Now we can finally go and help Electrode. Oh, he's mad. Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. Yep. Really reminds me of Harley from the anime. I just lacked, uh, er, time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Ah, could this be why Admin is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? My word, the Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh truly are never-ending fonts of wisdom. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electro so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be any help to you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electro likes. Man, you really are a disappointment to, as a warden. And I, 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 I really like the other wardens than this guy. This guy's really annoying. What's the matter? Upset too bad. Anger doesn't make bombs. Oh man, I want to wring this dude's neck. Melly's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, Akari? Man, I really hate this dude's personality right now. I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electra likes. So here's the... Adamin! What now? I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really gonna tell this little noodle what she needs to find just like that? Lest we all forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you even feel even a twinge at how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Seno's chosen ones. I really hate this dude. Anyway, it's not like trials and sufferings are always the cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Seno. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Hikari here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell her what she needs, crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. Hey, this is why Adamin's the boy. Diamond clan leader really coming in clutch. Now it's time to make some bombs. So lend a hand, both of you. Fine. At the end of the day, let them say that the great Melly shirked his duties as warden. I'll help make your precious bombs. There, I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so check all you like at Electrode. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt that the likes of you can quell it. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon up. So I'll be right back. So even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode. I'm ready to battle. Huh. You have a great deal more, pl more pluck than you have sense, I'll give you that. A word of advice. Don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. Man, they're always using the dead word. Man, it's wild to think how you could just easily die in the past. In this world, in this region. Death is thrown out so casually. Okay, where are you, Electrode? Oh, no! Voltorbs! Wait, is there even Voltorbs supposed to be friendly, right? Ah! Yo! Yo! Oh, man, he's pissed. Lord of the Hollow, Electrode. Oh, no. That's a ticking time bomb right there. Oh, 
Oh. Oh no! 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 What is it with these bombs? It's chasing me! supposed to do what am I really supposed to do right yet right now oh my goodness wow we lost I didn't even get up to the explosion Let's try that again. What is that deal with that ball? Really out here dying. Ah! It's about to explode! The area just keeps increasing! Oh no! This is our chance! Can we redeem ourselves? Of course, Thunder Wave. Okay, we'll just have to use strong stall flamethrower. Paralyzed! Ah! Come on, please, Typhlosion! Ah! Bro, like my life depends on it! to run oh my goodness what is with this boss oh he's gonna explode we gotta dodge that I forgot that Typhlosion <laughs> only had a bit of HP left. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What can we use? Uh, okay. Let's use Luxray. Let's use Fire Fang. Another Fire Fang. I gotta throw like the, my life depends on it, which kind of does. It's blue now. Blue is green. Ah! Ah! Oh my goodness! I'm fighting for my life. Yellow and green? 
What is with this detonation zone? Please, just let me heal you. Oh my goodness. Why? Why? Guys, if you're if you're still watching this mess of a fight, if you guys are up to this boss, did you guys have a fun time? Was it easy? Was it hard? Are you struggling just like me? Ah, I almost missed that. I was, I was like, got messed up. Uh, I said baskil, a basket <laughs> basculin. <laughs> Maybe Basculin could pull us through. Maybe he'll actually listen. Let's use Ice Fang. Turned away. He won't obey. Well, I, I don't want to be me, but Baskul uh, Basculin kind of deserved that. Let's set out Luxray. Let's see what Dems Luxray can do. Just Fire Fang. Agile Style. Energy Ball. Let's not start Raptor. He should be able to finish him off. Man, am I tired. Dodging all those bombs. Gotta throw, throw, throw. We're almost there. Come on. Ah. What? Oh, we did. I thought I died for a second. I got so, so pissed. I thought I actually lost. We did it. We healed him. Everything's all right as rain. Ah, uh, got some levels up, level up, level ups. That's always good to see. Or electrode. Oof. You got the zap plate. Oh, for shame. What utter calamity. I agreed to make those accursed bombs, yes, but now that Sino, Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever, it's just so unbearably sad. Dude, get over it. I, I, I'm hating you more and more. Think of the Pokemon. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relief to me. Glad its sufferings ended, probably. Oh, come on, Admin. Seriously, that's just your wishful thinking. Nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, because, but if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive. Right on schedule. Now, what did you bother coming back for? I want to say that I recorded some things after Hikari did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with a world I, with a world where I believed I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive friendships with them, and then there were the Pokemon trainers. Yes. The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got. Also helped themselves in their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers for forged bonds of understanding with, with their Pokemon. With their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong. Or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your word like Ingo described to Hikari? It sure was. I'd never have thought such a word could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant warden Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokemon that needs to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. Dude, just shut up. There is the mute button for this dude. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Hey, Adamin, 
Share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our, cl our clan. All right, all right. Open your ears. Shut that big mouth and listen well, my friend. Give not into sh sorrow. Give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow. Give not into anger. Bring not Almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Oh, Ingo's theme. Bravo. Excellent. Please, all of you, do your best and run towards the destination. An even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Hikari. It surely lies with the next lord. Now this time, I will make the complete return trip to Jubilee Village. Perhaps with someone like Hikari to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the Pokemon of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon. I owe Commander comment on my report. Until next time, Hikari. Take me with you. I'm going to to the same place. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? I mean, that's what Almighty Seno really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Okay. So we did it. We conquered and helped out Electrode. So now let's go back and give our report to, to Commander Kamado. Report our findings, get some extra money. Let's hope we get a decent amount of points to get to our, our fixed fifth star rank. Okay, we got 380 points. 2,000 more to the next rank. Oh, you quelled Lord Electrode? Splendid job as always, my dear my dear girl. Let's be off to the village then. Time to report to Commander Kamado. Okay, time to go talk to Kamado. Let's go see if they have any new items. Are there balls? Nah, I don't need those. I need some like evolution stones and link cables. Time to talk to Commodore. Hmm. So Warden Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if this is the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Is it angered by something? Or does it seek to drive a wedge between Pokemon and people? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. But what is this space-time with anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm, but you must be tired. Go on then, to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Yeah, some food! Oh, we're happy about that. We're starving after nearly dying by dozens, dare I say hundreds of bombs. Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. Bet. I mean, like, uh, man, dude's wallet's gonna go empty. Well, what an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. This is generous for the boss. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous or at least less dangerous task. But can we talk about how you've gone from being some nobody from nowhere to basically the hero of Hisui? Hey, our reputation's getting up there. Indeed. Taking on such perilous duty has earned you a great deal of trust, Akari. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Akari, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one what where you came from, you're part of the Survey Corps in Jubilee Village now. Hey, we get some acceptance, finally. Finally. 
Ah, oh, time to rest and now a brand new day. My poor character never gets never gets a break. Isn't it nice getting up early? Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities. It's just responding to Commander Commodore's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation. And I had to wake up even earlier than you to want all the way here for it. Come on. No need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all guess what the commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is close, quite close anyway. Oh, they automatically sent us. I was about to end the video and save it for the next video, but I guess not. Hey, Kamen are really ruining my plans out here. You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. On to the next one. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. FINAL NOBLE! Yeah, who would have dreamed some strangers would tumble out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug? There's a Hisui in Avalug? Which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. Is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Your mission is to quell Avalug, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space time rift as well. Avalug may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter, better future. And let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then. A slumbering lord of the... That's a slum... <laughs> Man, guys, I'm really sorry. Ugh, the slumbering lord of the tundra. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many possible. And to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Gotta prove myself. Oh no, we have to get a fifth star or something? Yeah! What's wrong with Silene? Huh? Huh? She's. Abra, teleport this Wurmple outside at once! She's scared of Wurmples? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! So you're the, you're to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll, you'll face in all Hisui. If you intend to go, show me you're equal to the challenge by earning your fifth star. I knew it. Win this Pokemon using moves in various styles. Catch Pokemon at different times. Completing such research has to raise your rank and aid with any request that might be found on the professor's blackboard. Okay, guys. Well, that was an interesting episode. <laughs> to say the least and in the next episode we'll be fighting avalog to quell the final lord's fury so if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment maybe click that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video where we journey to the alabaster icelands and i'll see you there hopefully